Hey everyone, welcome to this video where I will be introducing you to an incredible tool called Dynamic Jungle, a complete solution for managing and visualizing large data sets all within a single environment. Whether you need to organize, analyze, or present data through tables, charts, or APIs, this tool has you covered. Now, tools like Excel or Power BI can certainly help with data analysis and visualization, but they often fall short when you need seamless integration with databases, dynamic charts, and APIs all at once. That's where Dynamic Django really shines. It not only helps you manage your data efficiently, but also allows you to present it through interactive dashboards, serve it via APIs, or even displaying through charts. And all of that in one environment without needing to jump between different tools. If you are dealing with large set of data and want a more streamlined solution, this video is for you. I will walk you through how Dynamic Django can simplify your workflow, making data management and presentation a fraudless. So in this video, we will talk about how to automatically add a model from a CSV file, display the data using data tables, serve the data through an API and finally visualize the data through charts. So without further ado, let's jump. So the first step, we need to start the project. First, before we dive into any functionality, make sure you have a dynamic Django project set up and installed. If you haven't done that yet, I've included the link to the project in the video description. Once you have access to the project, you will find the installation steps in the readme file, but I will also display them here for quick access. So you will need to create a virtual environment. You will also need to activate the environment and then install the dependencies listed in the requirement text file. Once everything is set up, we will begin by preparing the project for data manipulation and visualization. Now that the project is set up, we can see how we can display the data using dynamic data tables. So the first step will be to define a model. Now, Dynamic Django comes with a powerful tool, the CSV processor that is useful for loading CSV file data in to a database without manually dealing with table creation, migration, or populating. So you can create a model in the traditional Django way, or you can automate this using a CSV file, then saving time and efforts. Whether the file is stored locally or remotely, creating a model from a CSV file using the CSV processor tool is very simple and straightforward. So the first step, you will need to have the CSV file in the media directory. So over here, in my case is transaction.csv. Once this is done, you will run the Python manage.py CSV to model flag F transaction CSV that will create the model in the project. Then you will run the Django command to create migration, run the Django command to migrate the changes to your database, and finally load the data from the CSV file in the database. So let's do it. So we have Python manage.py CSV to model flag F transaction.csv. As you can see, this has generated a model with the fields of a CSV file. Then we will run the command to create migrations. Then we will run the command to migrate those changes to the database. And finally, we will load the data in the database using the same command we used to create the model, but we are adding now another flag called L to say, yeah, load the data in the database. 
and we are set. So we have basically load 1000 lines in the database, 1000 entries of transaction. So that's just how you can easily create a model, populate and load the data in the database with just simple comments without having to deal with the hassle of manually working with it, writing the code yourself. And that's where the fun begins. We can now display the data with data tables through an API of visualizing with charts. But let's start with the data tables first. Go to your settings.py file and add the required configuration to map your model to the dynamic data tables. So in this case here, we will add a mapping to the transactions and here the import path to the transaction model. Then once this is done, make sure you have your project running with Python manage.py run server and the project will be running most of the time on localhost at the port 8000. 8, so let's head over it. Navigate to the data table section where you will see your newly created page transaction. And now we can easily see the entries. You can paginate through the data set but also search for the data or filter it. It's now an efficient way to browse large data set quickly and interactively. Now, let's see how we can serve the data via dynam Dynamic API. One of the most powerful features of Dynamic Django is its Dynamic API. This feature allows you to generate APIs based on the models you've already created without writing extra code. Let's set this up. Go to your settings.py file and add your API mappings to the dynamic underscore API variable. So here, and we will add the same configuration we made for our transaction under the dynamic data tables dictionary and now head again to the dashboard basically the we may test Django to expose the transaction model through an api endpoint called transaction so let's open here and now we can see that at api transaction root we have access to the data regarding our transaction Great. Now let's see how we can display the data chart. Visualizing data is crucial for better insights and Dynamic Django offers an easy way to generate charts for any registered model. You can display your data in various formats like line, bar, donut, and much more. To configure the chart, go to your settings.py file and add the chart mapping. In our example here, existing example, we have products and sales that are mapped to the import path of the model they are linked with. So this will allow us to visualize the charts on the dashboard. So you can head to the dynamic chart link. You will see the available routes regarding product and sales. Clicking on sales will give us a view of the data tables, but if you go lower, you can see um, the list of charts available for that. So you can have a simple view directly on the page, but if you want to use those charts, maybe in another project, you can also have an embed view like here. So we can see that we have an embed view of the line charts. This is very useful if you want to embed this chart in external document or application by simply using the link provided. So that's it for the dynamic chart where you can display your data using charts. So basically in this video, we've just seen that if a simple CSV file, a large file if you want, you can have access in just a few minutes to a dashboard displaying you data tables, APIs, but also charts in just a few minutes, which is actually great. And that's it.
There you have it. We've covered how Dynamic Django helps you streamline data management from creating models with CSV files using the CSV processor tool, displaying those data in tables, saving it through APIs, and visualizing it using charts. It's an incredible, versatile tool that you can, can save you a lot of time when working with large data sets. If you found this helpful, be sure to check the repository and start integrating it into your project. Thanks for watching and feel free to reach out to our support if you have any question. Happy coding.